Hi, I'm Lori White, the guru of luxury, and I'm very excited to be sneaking back into Le Cirque for a great dinner. And he's promised me a little bit of some tips for some wines on some white wines from Montrachet's. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Come along as I talk to Paul. Paul, tell me a little bit about the Montrachet you picked out for us today. Montrachet is the most famous, the most well-known Chardonnay from the world, in the world. He's a, a white burgundy. Right. All, all the white burgundy, they practically they're based on Chardonnay grapes. Okay. This one is something amazing. Very small appellation, right. small vineyard, uh, different owner on different parts of the, the vineyard. Okay. Uh, can age 40, 50 years, 60 years. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, once I have the opportunity to test a Montrachet uh, from 1875. Oh, wow, and it was still it good. It was fantastic. Oh wow, that must Fantastic. have been a great opportunity. Yes. Okay. The Montrachet is uh, really a dream name in, in the in the Chardonnay grapes. Right. Uh, this one is come uh, Le Marquis de Laguiche. That is the name of the family uh, on this vineyard with uh, Joseph Tower, uh -huh. very uh, well known uh, negotiant in Burgundy. Right. Burgundy by tradition has a lot negotiant. Right. And uh, they they are on the Pouligny area. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, the word Montrachet, the Rachet made on the old French, a really poor, poor soil. Right. Well, nothing except maybe a bush can grow there. <laughs> right. That, and that gave it to the wine a particular taste. It's very uh, flowery, uh, a little bit oaky, of course, but that doesn't, doesn't come from the soil. Right. Uh, stony, mineral. Kind of an ashy taste, maybe? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, citrus because the Chardonnay is there. Right. And uh, can age after maybe 10 years, 15 years, is there. The Chardonnay gives you everything you can expect from a wine like that. Like, like that. So mm -hmm. what year should we look for if we're buying one for dinner or something? If you want, uh, this one uh, we have uh, there on the table is a 2005. Okay. Uh, but if you can find, uh, you know, something 10 years uh, Ago oh, would be yeah. about the right time. Okay. Or by, or by uh, you know, a case of a young, a younger one. And save one it for and 10 years. <laughs> yeah, store properly and save for 10 years. Okay. Uh, worth it. Uh, really uh, worth yes. it. Yeah, All right. Really a big wine. Really a big wine. Yeah, a lot of people dream about this wine. <laughs> yeah. Don't be confused with the other name with Montrachet on it in Burgundy. Okay. Pouligny Montrachet, Chassagne Montrachet. They are Montrachet, but they are not like Le Montrachet. Okay, okay. That's Look good on the label. Le Montrachet, <laughs> nothing right. else. All okay. right. That's I, the one. That's the one, okay. Now, what is this particular bottle like? Tell me about this one. This is a particular um, maker. This, uh, Joseph Drouin is a great negotiant uh, in Burgundy, uh, very traditional, uh, focus on the quality. Quality is first for them. Right. Uh, they have some venture in USA as well, in Oregon for Pinot Noir. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. they do very well. And uh, the Montrachet, this one, the particularity of this one is because it's Marquis de Laguiche, the most probably aristocratic, aristocratic uh, French family at that time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of history around this name. And. Uh, so, what I'm going to go in and have a meal here. So, what should I order to have with this wine? Honestly, this wine with a, a Dover sole, mm -hmm. grill. Really? Okay. You know, nicely green, nothing else. Very and, simple. And the Le Montrachet. Okay. Yes. So a light something, a light food? Mostly white fish. White fish. White okay. fish, they're more light, you know, they, they have a firm texture, mm -hmm. subtle uh, uh, taste. Right. It, that's mm -hmm. match very well with the other. With this, okay. Or a classic fish with a classic beurre blanc okay. sauce. You know, something like that, has, right? It, the wine has enough acidity for for help with, with the beurre blanc sauce. Okay, great. It's not always easy for the now, wine. Now, what would this bottle cost? You can find a young vintage, like 2005 at the liquor store for $250, okay. $200. And if it the, were 10 years old, which is where you say it really starts to be good uh, drinking, what would that be? There you're gonna pay more money, of course. Right. It's gonna jump to three, $400 a bottle. Okay. And after more far, we go in the hedge, it, the more, more, the more price. expensive it's going to okay. be. Yeah, yeah. And is it more important than the length of time, than the year that, that it was? Yeah, it's very, it's very important. Okay. Uh, but you have to know as well, when you buy from somebody uh, old vintage, mm -hmm. you know, you never know exactly if it has been stored in proper, proper way. Proper storage. Yeah. Okay. It's, 
That's it's a part secret. of the risk, always. Right. Okay. Because of course, if you ask to the to the liquor store or the person, it was in good uh, condition. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's not gonna say no. Right. You know? Right. But right. Uh, if he's bad, just put the cork back. And the day after, go back to the store oh. and bring back the day after. And return it. It okay. should be, yeah. A, a reputable place will take it back. Yes, Especially no at this price yes, range. Yes. Okay, so now to taste this, we swirl, the right? We swirl always. We look the okay. color. It has a nice yellow color. Right. A little bit on the gold side. Mm -hmm. And okay. the, when it's going to edge, it's going to take more gold. Oh, we'll get more it. gold. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. And we're going to smell. Of course, we can smell the hawk because it's still young, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we smell the citrus, the flowers, a little mm -hmm. bit mineral. Mm -hmm. Now that would be excellent with a fish. Mm. Well, my Are mouth is see? watering. I'm looking forward to my lunch here, and I want to yes. thank you so much. Thank you for being and, there. And uh, I will look forward to our next time when we taste another great wine. We'll here. be thank busy. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Remember, luxury is the art of living, so make sure you live every day to its fullest. Tune in soon, and I'll give you some more tips on great luxuries from around the world.